Hello guys, welcome back. And I hope you are all well and in a safe situation. Just because this COVID-19 is getting worse and worse. So to be safe, stay at home. Okay, on this video I'm going to play Wii game which is POCO X3 NFC and also using the Gamser X2 Type-C as you all know this controller only meant for EGGNS emulator but for other game such as the Demon PS2 DPSSPP you just plug and play no configuration needed only the Wii the GameCube so this uh, controller don't have any battery it's using your pawn battery to power it up via PSP Type-C so let's begin when you connect it make sure the light not blinking it's a solid blue okay and uh, dolphin emulator version that I'm using 5.0 this is the way huya port one this is uh, also known as a uh, MMJ version and the game I am going to play Call of Duty 3 first you need to configure the controller according to the game some game it need this button this need this button some game only using a few buttons some game using a lot of buttons so that really suck because the original Wii console is using two separate controller one is a Wii one is the extension Namchak and sometimes using another extension three controller and even more four controller so this game It's uh, what I say really hard to configure, but I managed to control configure it. Only a few of the function I miss, like throwing the grenade. Over here, let load the set state. Okay. At the moment. Here with not run. You need to configure the controller. So for this game only, for the Call of Duty 3. For other game, different setting for the controller. Bear in mind. So for the Call of Duty game, here are my settings. After this, I show you the game setting. Okay, the game setting also got two setting. Over here, global setting. That means when you set over here, it will affect all the game that you got. For the individual setting, let's say for the Call of Duty. You pull down the drop down menu over here, the gear icon. This is the individual setting for this game only. It not it will not affect other game. So this pitch I already set for the, this uh, controller. So let's do the setting for the controller. 
you can skip the video if you already understand if you don't watch carefully so for the controller setting the three dot here V input emulated A, B, the button that I use inside the for the COD3 A, B, 1, 2 1 for the menu uh, what is it? I forgot already. 2 for the binocular IR, your pointer, the cursor pointer your aiming cross there. swing actually in use but since the bu other button uh, I already use so I skip the swing this one is important also d-pad okay let's configure it this is the front uh, action button R1 R2 L1 L2 this one is a left analog stick right analog stick this one is an action button also A, B, X, Y that depends on the controller 1, 2, 3, 4 for the PC and this is the D-pad this one for the minus this is the home button this is select button this one for the screenshot and this one is a back button oh a home button yes home button okay for me a is at the r1 it's up to you which uh, finger more comfortable for you as for me I already get used to the PS4 controller sometimes I use uh, head finger for example like this this pinky and the middle finger and my index finger for other function these two at the bottom L2 L1 and the index finger controlling the action button and a d-pad also my thumb on the stick that mean add finger this one only for ps4 and other ps3 some of the game using that's really crazy function of the button you can okay uh, for the this COD3 we game might be at L1 A R1 scope and this one the B shooting scope shooting same as when you playing PUBG scope shooting when you using your index finger and the uh, thumb for the camera and the uh, left thumb for moving same also your left on the stick and your right on the camera okay number one at the L3 oh sorry yep number two R3 that's up to you which button as long as you know the function of the button inside the game and uh, select minus on my select button plus on my start button IR this one for the cursor infrared pointer up on the right stick down down left left right to the right swing actually it's really important this function so I skip it 
I am using the shake. So the Z at this uh, egg button. Y at the A. This one A B or egg circle at the bottom one. Z at this one. Y at this one. D pad also same function. D pad up, D pad down, D pad left, and D pad right. So the extension nunchuck. C for jumping. I'm using the L2 at the front here. Z for crouching. R2. Stick is this one you already know. This one for moving the character up, down, left, and right. And last one, this one, Y shake. This is Nantak shake, the first one, the V shake. Y at B, 1, 2, or AB. This one, Y shake. This one is the V shake. This one on chuck shake. Y, Y button, this two. And the Z button on the V shake. Over here. This two plus the other one. Very important. Otherwise, you can't pass through the certain level. Okay, let's begin. Already 11 minutes on the setting for the and the game setting. Oh, cool. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Game setting, global setting, general. Over here, nothing much. So graphic, open GL. So FPS aspect ratio you stretch that's up to you and enhancement I only run it at one egg this is the snapdragon 732 also not a problem for it to play at decent speed and the rest from the over here the language Okay, this one is for the global setting and for the in-game setting. Over here. Always at the center, the cursor. Back to the center. The CPU speed at 100%. Over here, the pitch. This one for this controller at 12 and Yao at 20% and the vertical offset set at 0 otherwise the cursor will going down always going down so at set at 0 it will stick at the center okay over here you see this one is for the camera angle C jumping and uh, A aiming or your scope and the B shooting trigger and the D pad up chain weapon otherwise I'm dead Wait, I'm just explaining to manacler okay let's begin no more shooting uh, no more talking
smoke. Over here, that now. Okay, before this, I set this one at the Z. Uh, we check the Z button, and this one is the We check Y button, and the non shot check Y button. This two is Y, this one is Z. Let's begin.
too noisy. Stereo speaker. One over there. One, two. Press the minus button. Minus. Shoot, shoot. Right. Nice shot. Nice they shot. Ain't up. Welcome to the party, guys. Task Force C is moving out. What happened to you? What happened to you? is the in game setting the sensitivity you can set it to maximum that depend on your finger sensitivity minus like Put the gun down. Put the gun down. down here. 
You're not crazy enough to shoot me. Desertion's a capital offense, Guzzo. Shooting you won't be crazy. It'll be the sanest thing I've ever done. Frank, come on now. Guys, we got ourselves in trouble here. Looks like we got a way out. All right, we're bugging out. Boom! We'll continue this later. Nicholas, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. some smoke. Reloading to slow. Uh, like playing PUBG. What happened here? What are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Nice work, boys. Check your ammo levels. Smoke. I don't have ammo anymore.
thing. Yeah. What the hell? Let's go back here. Where are all of them? Maybe they going back here. Hey. Okay, that's it. So, if you look at the vertical offset, the default one uh, at 10 or 12. As decisive as Normandy, the liberation of Saint Lo opens up the road to Paris. So, I said over here, the American army pushes through to the southwest. So back to, to the southwest. At the beginning. Good. Like I said, uh, OS pointing down. It's not center, see? OS pointing down. So, set it to zero. Okay. I think that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's up to your pawn whether it can run the game properly. So that's it from me today, and thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay at home. Be back with more video. So, stay tuned.